Okay, so right now we're gonna be walking to go get some coffee. Um, today's session, I'm gonna be doing like a type of like a religious like Virgin Mary type piece on his forearm. Uh, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. I like the image that he showed me, but you know, we gotta go get some coffee right now and uh, get that up, all up in the system with the little tingles, the little tingles of coffee. I don't know if, if, uh, if you guys, how you guys like your coffee, me, I like my coffee black. Put in the comments below what kind of coffee you like to drink and how you like to, how you like to intoxicate it. What do you call it? How you like to put it, put it together. Me, I like black coffee all the time, every time, when I'm working, when I'm not working, that's my shit. So I'll get a cold brew and uh, it'll just be a 16 ounce and then no cream or sugar. Black? Yeah, just black. Okay. First sip. I think this is cool to show people like the kind of area where I be tattooing at. We're in Midtown Sacramento right now. This is like what it looks like. It's pretty like, what would you call this kind of area? Like, I don't know. You know what I mean? It's, it's pretty laid back. It's cool, like, we got a lot of, lot of type of characters in Midtown for sure. So I actually got me a present. I don't know what the fuck it is. Oh, it's right here. It's kind of heavy. To Angelo from Osti. Oh, it's a fucking ring light, bro. Dude, I was so close to buying one like two days ago. What, bro? That's hella dope. Fuck. Yeah, he he sent me the fucking link, bro. I was like this close to yeah, buying it. I you were gonna buy it. Damn. Yee. I'm about to fucking put this up when I get there. <laughs> Aha. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, you guys. So in this video, we're gonna be doing the St. Catherine on the arm. I hope you guys like it. Let me know. So what do you, let's see, let's see this size. So what do you think of this size right here? Yeah, that's cool. And then I'll just kind of bring this down a little bit. And then I see you got like a ring around it. Do you want to do something like that too? Yeah, because she kind of has that like halo thing. And you want to take um, out the halo? Yeah, I, would, I was thinking keep the halo in there. But then there's like other saints that have like slightly different halos. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I'm not 100% like set in keeping it exactly like that. If you well want then, because uh, like, this is going to take a good amount of time to yeah. do. We could get the image first and then when you add your next piece, okay. we could put it back there. Because okay. I, I almost don't even want to put like a background in there just yet. Okay. Just because like if we do it and then we add another piece and then maybe it ran into it a little bit, yeah. then we got to figure out what would fit a little better on okay. the other side. Yeah. And then you want to keep like the whole everything? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think that would be good. I think it'll look dope too. All right, this is a good size. If anything, I'll make it a little bigger. Yeah, that's exactly. Okay. I think we're, we're on board with each other. Cool, bro. So I'm going to start stenciling it right now. All right. I mean, it might be a little too big. Let me see your other one. I guess we could kind of do like same size kind of thing, you know? I feel like if I make it a little smaller. I think what I'm gonna do too is like with the sides, uh -huh. probably not do the sides right here, like, cause this is the main image. Yeah. And then that way you can add on. And when you add on, you can, you have the option to finish it. Like kind of know what I said. Yeah. But it's not gonna take away from the piece being solid. You know what I mean? Okay. Like you'll still be like, oh, okay, this is okay. it. This part will, I feel like we'll for sure get like, do something like that. What do you think of the size? Do you think I should make it a little smaller? Uh, no, I'm gonna like it. All right. Okay, I'll probably keep it then. All right. All 
All right, guys, so we just got the stencil in. So this is St. Catherine that we're gonna be doing today. It's gonna be a nice inner forearm piece. Um, it's gonna take a minute. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> just have a like, er, er, er. cool. Okay, so we're using the classic dynamic black. First cap is full black. Second cap, cap is about halfway. Third cap is about 25%. Uh, fourth cap is just the bottom, fifth cap is the bottom half of the cap, and the last cap is one drop. I said that shit hella fast. Let's go. All right, the needles I'm using, I'm using a three liner in this tattoo, and uh, I'm pretty sure a five liner. So right here, we're using the three liner. Um, I'm just gonna be outlining the bottom of this whole uh, bottom forearm with a uh, Pretty sure that it's solid black. And what I'm doing, I'm just kind of taking my time with the three liner. I don't usually use the three liner, but this piece that I did is it's pretty detailed. So I wanted to make sure I had all the details. There's hand, little tiny hands in it that I wanted to make sure I could get and capture with the three liner. Um, you guys can see right here that I'm, I'm doing like a three point stretch on the skin and just going slow with the needle. The three point stretch, what I mean is, you stretch out the skin with these two, and then you get your palm, and you stretch it out, and then you that, and then I start tattooing. That's the three point stretch I like to do. Right here, we're gonna be doing, this is, uh, I'm positive this is the nine mag, curved, and I'm just going back and forth, just taking my time. There's there's no rush, you know what I'm saying? So like, we're just kind of like, really, really trying to make sure the ink is in the skin, but you don't want to overwork the skin either. This is like the bottom cloak of the of the uh, the piece we're doing. Doing the more three liner. This is this is me just starting off the hands, all three liner. This is. This is uh, probably about my medium cap. This tattoo was hella fun to do. Like, I don't know, just something about doing little detail tattoos, and but it's a big size. Um, it's, it's fun to do, and, and then, uh, I don't know, man, just something about them. I like doing big pieces too, but these, these kind of things, like the little hands, you know, like they're fun, they're fun to like, work with excuse me I just burped oh there's another one <laughs> right here we're just using the uh, solid black just taking my time you know just really kind of like I'm gonna start feathering it out so that's kind of like my technique that I do when I like kind of try to feather it out a little bit I'm not applying as much pressure as I would for like solid black and then this is just me trying to get the grooves into the cloak so this tattoo man this, this stuff this is tattooing is fun man it's hard for me to talk right now tattooing is fun like like this shit right here tattooing it is very satisfying and, and, and in my opinion if you're tattooing and you're not getting any type of satisfaction out of it, like having fun with it, you know, maybe it's not for you, or maybe you should you should just chill out for a little bit, take a break from tattooing for like a week or so. There was a time when I, I stopped tattooing for a month just because like I needed a break. Like, like I kept going and going and I just needed a break. So I just stopped, like I canceled all my appointments. I, I just needed some fresh air basically on myself for a little bit it's very healthy to do stuff like that you're not a machine and, and people you know that people should understand that just taking my time I'm using like the side of the mag to kind of get it into this position right here it's this is right here usually with like the uh, this type of drapery that um, is very dark in this image. So I went back and forth with the black cap and then the half black cap and, just, and then 
like if I wanted a different tone, I just fanned it out until like I kind of saw. And then I went in with like my second to last cap, which is like bottom half black on the bottom. And I just went over it. And that was, that's like three tones. And then sometimes if like, if you do it right, it looks like maybe like five tones. I want to say in this piece, I did a lot of nine mag and three mag. I didn't really jump around to with bigger mags unless I was doing the background. Always three point stretch, always. Right there, I'm just kind of fading it out. Oh yeah, the hands. God, this, fuck, the, the hands was hella fun to do. Like, I don't know, it was, I kept doing it and then fucking, I don't know, and, and then I like, I kept jumping around, but then I want to go back to it. But I didn't want to spend too much time on the hands cause like, then you start to overthink it and then you're like, fuck. So right here, I just kind of went in, got some little grooves in, some little details. This is my first time like really watching this. So I'm freestyling everything I'm talking about. Which I, you know, I guess it, it, it kind of gives you guys more of like a, what is it called when you like freestyle? Like, I don't know what it's called, but it's, it's more genuine what I'm talking about, I guess. So I'm doing like the, the middle of the knuckles. Um, I wanted to kind of show a pretty solid like cash, kind of shadow going off so I kept these ones a little more more lighter because it gives it that cut that makes it look like it's like there's really like some light hitting it right there you just tag me in a post what is it bro what is it tag me in talking my shit You guys can see that I outlined a lot of this with the three liner already because I didn't want to lose any of the stencil so there's like some solid black three liner and then some super light gray right there you see on the book super light gray the outline I was super stoked to do this tat so when like I knew the opportunity was coming like I was like well bro we gotta film this this is like this is kind of different than the other videos. It has a little more detail. That's that cast shadow I'm talking about, like the very harsh with the knuckles. That one's like kind of going under the book, so I'm, I'm doing like a shading going under it. And I'm just using the nine mag and like, it's a nine curve mag, so taking my time this is about the middle cap what I'm using right here and just like lightly going over it but making sure it's like packed in there so like it stays I'm using the bishop there's a lot of outline right here like like usually with those I just kind of take my time oh yeah it's starting to look like something crazy to watch this like when it's filmed when it's been filmed all this drapery and stuff right here was is what I'm talking about when I did the the half bottom cap and I just went over it to create like one more tone boom that was like a perfect example right there Recently, I've been having two caps of, of uh, distilled water. I don't know, I just, uh, I saw someone at the shop doing it and I was like, I'll try it, you know, kind of help clean out my needles a little more. I like it. Definitely gonna keep doing that. Always trying new things, always trying to find new things. It's like, I'll try anything, I don't care. like the hook right here. 
now so now we're doing the background and uh that's just a nine mag i'm using about i'm using i'm pretty positive it's the uh the full bottom cap for the background of it The lips so usually like with the lips and stuff I try to keep the top one it just depends on the image but most times with like these kind of tattoos that I do I try to keep the top lip uh, very outlined and, and solid because uh, after a while with with faces and stuff the main thing that you want to stick is like the eyes the nose and the mouth and what I kind of learned is if I make the eyes like kind of solid and a little bit more on the darker side and then the bottom of the nose a little bit more on the darker side and then the top of the lip a little bit more than darker like after a while when it when the tattoo ages like it will keep that solid structure and that's kind of what i go for but i'm not talking about like a full black full black eyes and bottom of the, you know what i'm saying like just enough to where i know that like it will it will stay up over time Dash has been pretty long. In the beginning of this video, my shit was like all on my lip. I need to trim it. See what I'm talking about? Like the the top lip is kind of a little more solid, and it definitely plays into what kind of image you have. Like, don't just do it on every image. If you can, if you think you can get away with it, then do it. That's what, at least that's what I do. And then with the eyes, like the inner, right here, this inner bone, that's what I make more darker. That's what I was talking about. Right there, and then the actual eye, like inside the eye, like if I can do that, I will. <clears throat> and we're just using the, the nine mag and we're just kind of taking, you know, back and forth strokes, kind of like a paintbrush, like, I noticed when I started painting more, that's I started to tattoo like that. It's hella weird, but like it transferred over and I and it really started like working out. And I was just like, fuck yeah, I keep doing it like that. Every time I paint and then I go into tattooing, I always I feel like I always learn something new. When I paint, I use a lot of oil. I don't I don't really use acrylic. I use a lot of oil and, and it it's because it takes a while to dry. So what I do is. Uh, what I do is just, I'll work on a, a little piece of an image for like three days. And it actually like, for three days, I can like mess with it for a little bit until I like it. Like that little image. I'm not talking about like a full fucking image. Like usually oil paintings take me like, I've had an oil painting take me like a year plus. I'll show you which one it is, I'll be right back. This one took me like a year and some change to do. And I still rushed on it and I shouldn't have done it. And then I try to put some varnish on it and then it smeared right here. I don't want to talk about it no more. All right, we're back. We're doing the white, the white highlights. What do you guys think? You guys think the white hurts the most or what? Cause that's a lot of people say the white hurts the most. You got any white on your, you don't got no white, huh? That's crazy. Okay, do it again. All right, guys, so we just finished up the video. If you guys like it, then let me know and, and put that thumbs up. Comment something you wanna see for next time. Don't forget to let me know what kind of coffee you like. I like black coffee. Um, I had another question in this video. I forgot what it was, but answer that question too. And I hope you guys have a safe, uh, happy new year. And you know, 2021, let's, 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 Blah, 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 blah. Let's have a better year. All right. Peace, guys.